Welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't posted in a really, really long time, but I've been kind of preoccupied. I've just moved into a new house, been sorting things out, and um, with this whole coronavirus going on, I thought, not my chance, I'm not doing anything, can't go out, so let me post a video. Now, so today I'm just going to be doing a review on this top box that I've recently added to my bike. Okay, so I bought it from an online store called Take A Lot. It's a, South Af it's a local South African store that they sell like, multiple items from to the kitchen, to the garden, any, anything you can think of, they'll most likely have it. I bought it for about six, uh, 600 South African rands, um, including shipping, and it came with a little bracket plate that was well put out, uh, screwed onto the frame, and obviously the bolts and two spare keys. I got one of my very good friends um, who is a qualified welder. I just got him to weld the frame. I bought the um, bars for the frame, I just bought one long beam um, plus the grinding discs and um, drill bits which came up to about 200 South African rands which it was very cheap um, and he didn't, uh, he didn't charge me anything for labour which was very nice of him um, so yeah it took me about three days to weld this well three days, three or four days to get this frame sorted out um, the reason why I was set back was because I kept buying the wrong drill bits because I was being an idiot. So, yeah, I bought two of the wrong drill bits and it actually took us like two hours to drill through one hole because of the wrong drill bit. So, um, also what I had to do to put it on is I used to have passenger grips here, if you look at my previous videos. I had to actually unbolt those and use the bolts, um, the holes. We made a plate, drilled the holes and then we bolted the... So it's bolted onto the frame, and then we just welded the, the rest of the frame. Why did I get this box? Well, first of all, it just makes it easier when I'm going to the shops. I mean, sometimes I would stop home from, stop at the shop from coming from a friend's house or going out, and it's like, ooh, I don't have a backpack on me, or I don't have anything, and instead of carrying the packet on the side here like this, I just put it in there, and it's easy, even with McDonald's, it just makes it easier to uh, carry it home. Also, when I'm going to a friend's house, it's easier because normally I go to my friends and we have gaming nights. So I'll take my PlayStation, my laptop, and that all fits in here with some clothes. So it's also quite a nice, big and spacious. So it also helps me in sort of carrying on my back, especially if it like, starts to rain. It's more protected in there than what it is on my backpack. So it just makes it that much better. Also, I got it because me and my wife often do long distance trips and for her, before I had this, she had to have a backpack on with all of our clothes in and it's kind of heavy because there's nothing for her to rest her back on. So, um, just getting this, I mean it fits basically her backpack and a few extra stuff in here, so it just makes it much easier, well it's going to, she hasn't been on it yet. But it is going to make it much easier for her, just for comfort and uh, strain on her back. Was this top box worth it? In my opinion, it was totally worth it. I mean, I don't feel anything with wind. My back completely covers it when I'm riding, so it doesn't catch any wind. When it's filled with stuff, it doesn't affect my balance at all. It's like, I don't know how we got it, but we got it perfectly right. So the balance with turning, it's fine, it's got a lot of space, it doesn't, it looks bigger in pictures and it looks bigger in um, like on camera but it actually, it, it, it doesn't mess with the style either. Like I wouldn't really recommend it for these type of, uh, for the bigger versions of these bikes unless you've got the touring version like say um, a K1200 from BMW, something like that, yes it's fine, but on like a thousand cc Honda SP, mm -mm. it wouldn't work. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And also, I'd like you to leave a comment what you think of this top box on this bike. And also, if any of you guys have a top box and how it's actually made, if it's made your life better, or if it's made it worse, 
Just leave a message down in the comments. I'd like to see some of your guys' responses.